Hello viewers, welcome to church in Oswald Whistle train station. We're in Lancashire County Council. And uh, I am, uh, I didn't have to travel far for this one, let's say. And uh, we're in a rural area. Lancashire is a, a rural county mostly. We're near Blackburn, Preston, Accrington. But the reason why we're here is that a man has died after setting himself on fire at the train station on the platform here. And uh, it, it might be a copycat of the Aaron Bushnell self-immolation at the Israeli embassy. But um, I think it's worth investigating because the mainstream news hasn't really picked up on this yet, seeing as it only happened two hours ago. Sorry? You're asking me to turn the camera off? Yes, please. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry, what do you mean, turn the camera off? I, I don't come up to you telling you what to do. What, do you, what are you talking about? You're coming onto Railway Land, sir, and have yes, got I am. a license to uh, film. I don't need a license. I don't work for your company. You do. There is a, a, a degree procedure for you yeah. to uh, All right. film on Tell the Tell you what, why don't you let me do my job? I won't do yours. What, and you, you get, your balls, get your balls out of my face, sir. Your ID. ID? My name's Charlie. That's all the ID you're going to get from me, sir. And you leave me alone. Go do your job. I'll do mine. How's that? No, there's no need to be rude. I've asked you rude? Hey, hey. You're pointing it at my face. To Touch my, my camera again. That's assault. No, you've just hit my camera. We've got it on video, haven't we? We've got it on video, haven't we? What are you doing anyway? Coming up to me, telling me what to do, touching my camera. Go on, touch it again. Go on. Touch it again, sir. Look at this guy. Absolute joker. Grabs my camera. Good luck, bro. Good luck. I'm going to do my job. You do yours, as I said. Anyway, um, I did not expect it to get physical, physical so early into my video, but you see what happens. He approached me with the demand, turn your camera off, turn your camera off, answer my questions. And uh, regular viewers of this channel know that we're not about that. Okay guys, welcome to the church and Oswald Whistle, home of the Oswald Whistle Mills. I hope I don't have my camera attacked by any more men in bright orange high visibility. Passengers must not pass this point, which is fine. And uh, I'm going to try and find out. It's really strange. At 10.30 this morning, so two and a half hours ago, a man was found on fire on the platform at this station. And despite the attempts of witnesses and emergency workers to revive him, he was unfortunately pronounced deceased at the scene. Now, that is massive news. You know, a few days after a man sets himself on fire outside the Israeli embassy in Washington, DC, a man in Lancashire self-immolating on a train platform. And how is how are there not other journalists here? What what is going on? Oh, I was going to say, do you hear that? It was quick. That was the sound of a train passing above us. We're going to hover under here because it's not raining under here. So slight correction for my viewers. He was found at 6:30 a.m. It made the news for 10:30 a.m. And I am stood in the shelter, which was taped off with many officers around it. Um, you can't really see, but uh, that's where I'm stood in that image on the right. But I don't see any evidence of anything being on fire here. It's a phantom, phantom fire. Okay, respectable viewers and also un disrespectable viewers. Uh, I've been at the scene now for about 20 minutes, absorbing the energy, absorbing the scene. And there's maybe a reason why it's not made the mainstream news. My new theory, having investigated the scene in an amateur manner, is I think a homeless man, a, a vagrant, transient type of man, was smoking a cigarette on the platform, suffered a medical emergency, such as a stroke or a heart attack or other 
sudden death and the cigarette then slowly lit his jacket and clothes and turned his body fat into a candle and so when he was found he was pronounced the deceased at the scene because he was a crispy boy but it may not have been a self-immolation whether for suicide or protest reasons that's the theory from being on the ground guys and also to any more rail staff if you don't want to be upset by the actions of a photographer, two things. Let the photographer do his job, and secondly, don't grab the photographer's camera. The camera's his baby. That's all I've got to say. Hey, up. Oh, that's Yorkshire and Lancashire still. So whilst we're here in Oswald Whistle, the Whistle of Oswald, this here is the Aussie Social Club, which is the Conservative Club. Oswald Whistle and Church. I love that there's a part of town called Church. And it's built in 1890, Conservative Club of 1890. Now in there, they're uh, lamenting the fact that uh, under the Tories for the last 14 years, rape's gone up, murder's gone up, immigration's gone through the roof, and they still call themselves Conservatives. And they're like, please don't vote for those other parties. Labour will get in. Well, um... If you uh, call yourself conservatives and uh, don't do anything to conserve the nation, then as uh, the Joker says, well, then you, then you get what you effing deserve. Quick drive through Blackburn, guys, shall we? Of course we shall. So uh, I've parked at the Morrisons here in Blackburn, of course, because I'm a Morrisons customer, obviously. Obviously, I follow the rules. But uh, nothing prepared me for the... A coconut monkey lion clock feature that watches over the... <laughs> what is that all about? What did this building used to be? <sighs> Younger viewers may not know this, but in Baghdad, in the main hotels in Baghdad, Saddam Hussein used to make people walk over a mosaic of George Bush Sr. Well, here in Blackburn, they make people scoot and walk and stamp their feet over the LG TV 4K flag. You look at that, even the police cars drive right over it, not a care in the world. In the upstairs windows above the double blue doors, it's the constituency office for the Member of Parliament called Kate Hollern. She's a member of the Labour Party. She's one of the ladies who didn't have to vote recently whether to demand a ceasefire. Hello, guys! To demand a ceasefire in uh, Parliament. Uh, there was a big scandal. They chickened out because it's election year. A lot of Muslims support Labour and Labour didn't want to vote whether they supported a ceasefire or not. Because either they were going to upset uh, Jewish voters and people that sympathise with the Jewish, um, you know, trouble that's happening, or you alienate your Muslim voters. But anyway, enough of Kate Holland. She's had her holler. We're going to do it live. We're going to walk up to Blackburn train station or railway station. I don't know what. You guys in the comment section, you're more... You're more on the spectrum than I am. Everything needs to be black and white. And, and now I can't even cut my, oh, the wind noise. I'm gonna give up. Just met some lovely viewers uh, just off camera. They're really nice, decent people. So that teddy bear represents treating, treating each other like grown-ups, adult society, and a vibrant West. The child represents us and our children. And the well-dressed lady represents the Karen government authoritarian energy seeping into everything. Lefty, Trotskyist, Stalinist, Marxist energy. No, nope. no normal society and adult buddy relationship for you, society. All right, I think I'm winning. Oh no, I'm not winning because you can see the umbrella, but uh, I'm cupping <laughs> and filming at the same time. You can see the big, uh, uh, big metal um, copper oxide tumor on the side of the Blackburn Cathedral. You can see, obviously, the statue of Victoria here with a bit of algae on her head. And long-term viewers will know that at the height, the absolute height of lockdown, they had a big, uh, weird NASA-style ET phone home white tube facility going on here. And I called the video Blackburn Goon Ageddon just because of the amount of goons that try to uh, detain me, grab me, stop me filming, demand my credentials. Kind of like the guy at the church in Oswald Whistle Station. Goons are everywhere, guys. The church is directly behind me, and I always like looking at these things. Uh, 
I did not expect to see a California redwood, soon to be, give it a few hundred years, a giant California redwood here in Blackburn. But the Victorians obviously were active all across the UK. Obviously, it's the era of Queen Victoria. They did not, they could not get enough of importing exotic plants from around the world. Around the world, around the world. Sacred Ancient Burial Ground. No shouting. No shouting. I feel personally attacked. Let's try that again without a soaking wet lens. No one likes a moist lens. No shouting. I feel personally attacked. Blackburn Cathedral looks a lot better from this angle. We're going to go look at the Angel Virgin Mary detail over there. As we look at this, I don't know if you can hear me so clearly, but uh, if you've got problems, talk to God about them. We are inside the Echo the cathedral, but uh, there's the red uh, rose of Lancashire again, but uh, here is the Baz Luhrmann interpretation of Romeo and Juliet from 1996. I do bite my nose, I do flick my nose at you, or is it I bite my thumb? I flick my nose, I bite my thumb, one of the two. Like we really need to pay a TV license. Oh, how the world laughs at us. We pay 165 pounds a year for the right to watch live TV. And uh, the big black cockerel corporation, the BBC, British Broadcasting Corporation, they open up little regional radio offices, BBC Lancashire, BBC Manchester, BBC Merseyside, BBC Stoke, BBC Yorkshire. It's all here and it's all a bit unnecessary. It's jobs for the boys, or shall we say nowadays, jobs for the diverse uh, former boys who are now girls who do boys who like girls who do boys. Always should be someone you really trust. And uh, right next to BBC Radio Lancashire, there's Candy Cabin with a K. And just looking at it, it gave me type two diabetes and I can feel myself seizing up. Viewers, just look at the detailing on the side of this bank. I think it's the Lloyds Bank, yeah. Why don't they build banks like that anymore? Not really for me, that style of apartments, but uh, at least they're building new stuff. Anyway, apologies for the wind noise, but uh, I've got an umbrella up holding the camera. This is some of the best abandonment I've seen since I was last here filming John Snooker and Pool Bar. John, I think, has uh, left the building. I don't think John's... Uh, someone's got their nice hard suitcase with their toothpaste. Look! Right, well, we got Kung Fu. Depict, no, defend yourself with Kung Fu. Catherine Jenkins CD. Blue, oh my God, do you remember the boy band Blue? Who remembers Blue? There's some old Nazi war memorabilia here, Punch. It appears to be Adolf Hitler stood above someone. There's uh, all sorts. Well, that toothpaste looks all right. Just off camera, I'm gonna take that home. Say, Laura, look, we got some new toothpaste. Anyway. Look at the front of this thing. Sorry if it's all messy and dirty and windy. I'm doing my best here, guys. Oh my god. Oh shit, but look at that. Look at the lens, it's covered in water. All right, so uh, I'm following. Someone's got some aggro in their heart. Again, apologies for the wind noise, guys. I can either cup my balls, as in the microphone, or I can hold an umbrella. But uh, I've come this way, let's see if we can get it. Someone is beeping like effing crazy. I think it's the man in the Range Rover over there. I think he's been blocked in. But uh, we'll listen out. There's more to Blackburn than what I've shown you. Not much, but there is. <laughs> and the farmhouse here in the town center in the 1700s belonged to Sir Robert Peel when he was a kid. Oh, I see what happened. Four Transit guy was being prevented from leaving by a uh, Range Rover boy. And now he's out. Here at the Blackburn University College, they're gonna fix up the Victoria building, the former technical school, and they're gonna make it pretty or turn it into expensive apartments. Well, there's a nice placard here, the Delft style of uh, tiles, ceramic tiles, reminding me a bit of the Dutch ceramic, probably from Delft, probably Dutch, yeah. Anyway, this is for Boeing. Boeing, the American airliner company that makes airplanes. You were made to soar, to crash to, to earth, then to rise and soar again. Uh, you might not have seen on the news uh, another Boeing 737 Supermax 
has had a crash. Well done, Boeing, well done. Good amount of regen coming on around here, actually. Here's now Blake, Blakey Moore. The building above is gonna look nice. A vibrant new destination in the heart of Blackburn's new cultural quarter. And I was gonna say, what's the cultural quarter? I guess this is it, we're in it. You best start believing in cultural quarters. Cause you're in one. We approach the main drag here. More evidence of Victorian sandstone with the National Westminster Bank. Uh, before it turns into plasticky 1990s shit. The mall, it says, above B&M bargains. Someone got angry at me for saying, if you don't like the Northwest, in the comment section, because I was, uh, I was making fun of Barry. Look, you, you gotta call it out before it can improve. We can't all be delusional and think, we I effing love where I'm from, mate. It's a, sort of the earth. No, it's shit. Say it with me, viewers. The Northwest of England has too much shit, and it needs to be fixed. And the first thing is admitting that it's shit. Not just, oh, yeah, no, I've got a loyalty. I've got a loyalty to, to Blackburn. Town Hall's looking a bit pretty. A bit, bit nice. And what's this security guard? This is Town Hall Street. I'm going down now. I wonder what's at the end there. I can see a private prisoner transport, so we'll get a bit closer and investigato. On our left here, we pass the Blackburn Central Library. It looks like it's been recently renovated, updated, cleaned, and opened. And, uh, I like libraries. Very, well, I know it's been around for thousands of years, probably since the Jews wrote the Torah 4,000 years ago, or when some Egyptian wrote something on papyrus 5,000 years ago, put it on a shelf, boom, world's first library. And uh, the building you're looking at there on the left, very pretty, is the former post office. Look at that. Post offices done in like, an epic style. And here's private prisoner transport, GEO Amy, multi-billion, multinational company, gets all the government contracts. So when you're arrested, it's nice to know that the driver and the people that cuff you and take you into the police station are profit-making privateers. Law and order mercenaries. So continuing our tour, it turned into, the reason there was a private prisoner transport outside, it's the Blackburn Magistrates Court. And what a lovely building it is, and I uh, thought there were some dodgy looking guys, and those were the, the, the barristers, the dodgy looking guys. But yeah, uh, what's in there now? You, should, you shouldn't film inside, that's private, you shouldn't be allowed to. No, I'm not allowed, not allowed. Just leave it alone, Charlie. Don't, don't do it, don't upset security, just stay in your lane, do as you're told. Do as you're told. Okay, take a deep breath, you're gonna get told off. Take a deep breath. Oh, hi, I'm just doing a video, it's not... I'm sorry? Oh no, I read up about the law because I don't want to get arrested. That as long as you're on public property. No, but I, I, I researched it by case law. The photons that come out of that building onto the pavement belong to everyone. I can even capture them on. Could you speak up a bit? I can't hear you because it's the rain. No, no, I know, that's why I'm interested in it. That's why I'm taking video. But uh, it's no, it's no, I'm not a terrorist or anything, so don't worry. I'm just a YouTuber. No, 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 but if I came inside and did, then that's illegal. It does matter. Okay, can you please on your phone get me the law that goes against... No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm outside the building. I'm proved to be outside the building. But could, if you could find me the law that says I'm not allowed to film... All oh, right, yeah, it's above your pay grade, I guess. You don't want to spend any more time with me other than say it's not allowed. Got it. Okay, I understand. I'm by the side now of the magistrate's court. I think the guy just got bored. He was like, oh. When people don't do instantly what you order them to do, it, it, either you can, you're gonna invest, invest some time into an argument, or you just retreat and say, oh, he didn't obey me. I don't get paid enough. Anyway, the reason why I'm filming here, this is the side of the magistrate's court, and look how run down it is. It's all boarded up. The ground floor is all boarded up. Here's an interesting one, so there's the magistrates we've just been filming, and the next one along is all boarded up, but the plants and the ivy are doing a fine job here. But I thought it was like, what is this domestic, domestic science school? Let me do a zoom in. So, uh, whoever was funding the domestic science school is no longer funding it. Directly opposite, opposito, 
the, uh, what's that down, Blackburn, sixth floor. Oh, there's a college down there. We'll better ignore that, even though they're all adolescents. They're like, oh, there's little boys and little girls in this college. Colleges in Britain are for between 16 to 18 years old. Not really little kids, as security like to imply. But I think this is the council. Yeah. This is the council, guys. Look at that, three bees. They, they love the bee. The uh, suicidal, uh, stunted genetic copy of a queen does as it's told and then it dies. Doesn't have its own individuality, much like the Victorians saw the working classes. Am I being unfair? Maybe a little bit unfair. Anyway, this is the, uh, oh, for God's sake. Everything one-handed, that's the staff entrance. Ma main entrance of Blackburn and Darwen. Darwen, children's services, school and education, public health, adult social care, growth and development. I could do with a bit of growth and development for the YouTube channel. Why don't I have seven million subscribers yet? Huh? Huh? This says, this moment is your life. I disagree. This moment is an infinitely small slice of a tempio spatial, temporal, spatial, I just say space time. Uh, infinitely. This moment is not your life. This moment is a insignificant, tiny slither of your life. Get it right, guys. Don't lose hope. Don't become a, a downer, a Debbie Downer. Be a Charlie Upper. Okay, we're at the uh, actual town hall. How pretty it is. Purdy. Purdy. Purdy! Hey guys, where's the nice parts? I'm just doing a video about Blackburn. Where's the, where's the nice parts of the town hall? Hello. Hello, what do you mean where's the nice part? There must be some big hall or something full of ancient paintings and, you know, good British stuff. You know, there must be something in the town hall here. Oh, but I, I can tell you ladies have the intelligence and the authority to let me have a quick look. Not, not allowed? No, not even as a one-off, as a quick five minutes? Make an appointment. Make an appointment. Make an appointment with the mayor's assistant who will be able to show you. That sounds like a horrible level of admin and bureaucracy and red tape. All I want to do, there must be a nice room. Come on, I've come all the way from... All the way from Oswald Whistle. The It locked. Fair enough. Anyway, thank you. You've tried to help me. I appreciate it. I'll, I'll, I'll make an appointment. Yeah, I've been to the museum. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, madam. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. See, that all looks very nice. I do actually believe they, they would have helped me if they could help me. I believe that. Come on, lighten up. Lighten up. Council information. Your council reps. Oh, very nice. Oh, there, there's Kate Hollern. Go on, Kate. Don't let them make you vote. <laughs> Stop sham marriages. You don't want a sham marriage. You want a real marriage. Look at that. Don't just marry someone for a laugh so that they can get, you know, citizenship. Forced, you have a right. Don't, don't be forced to get married. Just don't do it. Uh, let's get to the nitty gritty of it then. Okay, so... Immigration and Asylum Act in 1999, how 20th century, section blah blah blah, places a statutory duty on registration officers and registration authorities to report suspicious marriages and suspicious civil partnerships. That's for, you know, gay marriage. To the Home Office. There you go, you've been told sham marriages. I was going to go outside, but let's just take a moment to, uh, let's just take a moment to look at what I'm working with today. We had about four or five days where it didn't rain, but now it's back to normal, back to moist. And like Penguinzo, I'm moist critical, critical of the moist. <laughs> Wonderful filming conditions today. Uh, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Oh my God. Not even B&M bargains can survive. Blackburn, gone. Okay, I can see the exit, but there's three security guards in the way. I'm going to film myself going out. Let's see if they can resist the urge. We're almost there. Oh, hi, how's it going? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm just reviewing stuff. I'm not actually... It's just just looking at it. Thanks, man. Cheers. Thanks, man. It's as easy as that. No, I'm just holding it up to review it. There it is, there's the exit. The weather is so bad, even the pigeons have had enough. Don't blame you guys. Have you, have you, whoa. Please take care of your belongings whilst visiting the Mull Blackbird. Okay, I will. If you find any 
lost property, okay. please alert one of our customer service officers I will. patrolling the mall. I Thank will. You. There's lots of security officers patrolling the mall. The shiny. Hey Gandalf, how are you, man? Uh, you are brilliant in Lord of the Rings. Oh, thank you. No worries. Is it Gandalf the Grey, the White, or what is it these days? Yeah, it's good. It's the Gandalf the Grey. I like Gandalf it. the Grey. Yeah. Nice peppery beard you got going on there. But I wish you well, my friend. I'm I wish still, you well. I'm still Not everything has to be taking the piss. This is a children's hospice for terminally ill children. I just want to say, anyone who makes the terminally ill children feel some love and hope and optimism is an angel. Hello! They've got some great taste, these guys, look! <laughs> hello, gentlemen. Ah, oh, Charlie Veach, hello, hello. Just lads came on to his famous, you know. Nice to meet you, Charlie Veach. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sorry to get you guys wound up. Charlie, yeah, yeah, I'm just, um, I cover mostly decay, like crackheads, okay. bad things, so I just, I just went in there okay. for a wee-wee. Right. No, no, that's, that's fine, Of course you can, mate. Look at this, this guy's getting a look at this! <laughs> Go on. And viewers love a, a last call, a last shot, a wrap-up. Oh, I'm burping at the same time as thought. A wrap-up, a, a, a kind of like, see you on the next video. And I will do this here out to play us out. We'll do it live. We'll come down the main drag next to the mall where Blackburn and Darwin Council have invested tens of thousands of pounds in corporate roundabout art, as you can see here. Because nothing inspires a diverse population like seeing copper ores being hammered into a xenomorph egg for a face hugger to burst out and grab you. That inspires me. Or if you prefer, the fevered LSD dreams of Salvador Dali when he uh, watched a movie about Soviet industry. There you go, beautiful. It's done very well. What's the next one? And don't forget, look what they've done here. They've put a few trees in, not enough trees, but they've put some trees in metal pipe mushroom trip wasteland and then you've got and this is the last clip so just just bear with me guys just watch it till it ends i'm all about view duration i never ask you guys to like and subscribe all i ask is for you to get my viewer duration up just keep watching put it on in the background make love to your beautiful wife whilst listening to me rant about changing crackhead britain nothing could be more romantic than that and on that note beautiful viewers it's all over we'll look up temple court on church street there's a church down there and cut wait a minute this isn't york it's trying to be york but it's not york